Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington Redskins and the Cincinnati Bengals. Here we go. The final week of the NFL season, week 17, is underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. This is Joe Mixon, and he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Second down, here's Mixon. And he's got some space here. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. 10. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A big play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Gold now out to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. <laughs> He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the face mask puts them in even better shape than they were in as they'll have a short field here on first and ten. They'll try to counter with Dixon. A strong running. <laughs> and he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. It's a gain of four there, and it gives them a new set of downs. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Second and 10. Newton again. His throw incomplete. They kind of force that.
that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, and he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Out of the gun, Newton. And incomplete here on third down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And as these guys interplay in Week 17, we know one thing. They are playoff bound. But they want to win that division title. They told us that is a goal that's been posted in their locker room since day one. They've got the chance to control their own destiny. And there's nothing more powerful than saying that you won the division because I know from building a team, when I talk with all the GMs and the player personnel directors, they always talk about to get to the playoffs in the NFL, you have to have a team that's constructed to win your division. Beat those teams first. That's your number one path to getting there and they can get that done in this game. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! Now let's go! And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. up after a pretty good shot there. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Watch it now, Barney! Barney! Now McCarron throwing on second. On the screen, Bernard. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He lost four there, and it's third down. And that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. A.J. McCarron looking to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Charles, that's an important third down stop. You don't want to spot them two touchdowns here early. You're trying to slow momentum down. You've already given up the score. They're coming right back at you. You're exactly right. Being able to hold them there and force a decision on fourth down, that's big for the defense. 
And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. <laughs> and now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. They'll run here with John Kelly, and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Mike Daniels makes the tackle. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Here's Newton now on second down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Charles, that makes now five interceptions. And even five quarters remember he threw four picks last week and this turns into a tough situation because a lot of fans the first thing is oh well we need to change quarterbacks this is your guy this is your elite player you can't just take him out like that if i'm the coach i make a little joke and say you know some big guy we're gonna change the football so it's obvious that's the problem it's not you keep firing After the INT, it's McCarron. He's going to air it out deep for Green. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A handoff to Mixon. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Shotgun snap for McCarron. But he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And the magnitude of this game, everybody knows it. The fans, obviously, the players and coaches, there's just with them a palpable buzz right now. They know they control their own destiny win and you're in and I think every player wants that I think every coach wants that I haven't been an organization yet that wants to be in a game where they have to rely on other teams to get them to, to their goals in this situation it's very cut and dry win and you're in the playoffs that's their mission that's their challenge and you know they've chosen to accept it and what they told us is this has been the most focused week of practice we've had all year you wouldn't expect any different yeah and you know at the beginning of the season you have multiple goals they just have one now win the game one thing to keep in mind partner especially in the second half when you've got a running back of this size of these dimensions i can just tell you attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down, it's Dixon. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First down, Prescott. 
And this one is incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Throwing again. Prescott on second and 10. Complete. Richardson has it. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. But they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. On the left side, complete. It's Richardson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Prescott yet again. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. They'll hand it off to Kelly. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine. And it'll be back to a third and three. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Kelly. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. And we'll see what the decision is here as they've got a fourth and one coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try. This one from 35 yards away. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points. Not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal over, foul yardage. Over, over. Handoff. It's Mark Ingram. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now let's go. Green 39. Green 39. 
McCarron to throw on second down. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll be brought down short of the 15, but a really good move on the run. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. season and the Bengals are able to grow their lead and they're able to run it in it started with a battle in the trenches they won there and they got in for six points and that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with they've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play they had no answer gold now out to kick it away And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. 46. 46. Prescott looks to throw on first. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, this is Kelly. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Second down, Prescott. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Washington. Paul Richardson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Redskins are able to make this a close game again. Now he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play you've got to consider, he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him, if he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle, hit him a bunch during the game, and try and keep him in front. 
But if you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, Bye -bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Even though they might not find the number one seed next to their name come playoff time, there's not going to be very many teams, if any, entering the playoffs on the kind of run they're on. They're hot. And I love that word, hot, because every team in the league wants to go into the playoffs on that uptick. Because a lot of the time, you serve notice to the rest of the league that, hey, we're the team you need to deal with. You're, we're the team that's going to be a real problem for you. And if they can continue this streak, they can very well be that team and gain that confidence that they're seeking as they head to the playoffs. And confidence, that's the word I would use from our meetings with them. They said we're playing our best football right now. It is showing. Back to Mixon on first down. Finding room inside the 40. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. I know that. play went to the left side and that's what it was designed to do an outside handoff there but how about the whole offensive line being involved seal the left side where the play was going where they call play side but how about on the back side just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it is the biggest key the left tackle without a doubt control that edge get out there you want that left tackle if you bring your tight end over there Either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to rumble. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, baby, yeah. Everyone's got four, four down. And now they'll throw it with McCarron. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard right, line. Here's second and goal. to throw McCarron, and that is incomplete. So many qualities coaches tick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? Accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength, that's great. Mobility, great, but you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they got to face a big third down. And the Bengals on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and goal. Here's Mixon. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. Seven on the year, and the Bengals add on to their lead. 
So they went for it from the one on fourth and goal, and they got it done. Is this the new NFL? This is the new NFL. This is the updated NFL, and I like it. I know that quarterbacks across the league have spent the entire offseason and even during the season lobbying their coaches to go for it more on fourth down. Let's go get it. Because nowadays, you've got to score points to win games in the NFL. You can't just rely on your defense to hold them. I think the quarterbacks want to eliminate field goals inside of 30 yards, probably. Well, listen, they have enough confidence <laughs> in themselves that they can call plays and make plays that they won't need those field goals inside the 30. This is Kelly. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. First down now, but that clock rolling. Prescott on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. A second down throw for Prescott. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Third and long for Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. He bought it four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Pulled in at the 24. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. A very solid gain of 27. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Call it a gain of three, and it's a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That first down completion only netted him three, second and seven. Barney, Barney. 
Working from the gun here, McCarron. There he goes inside the 30. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Shot couldn't connect. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. McCarron again here on second and 10. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. McCarron to throw once more. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will extend their lead even further. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. So out now come the Redskins. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Try to lay one up deep. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the... Line. A 
we go. The drive begins with a run by Dixon. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and six, just inside the 30. Right back to Dixon. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trying a little razzle-dazzle on third and short. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down throw for Newton. And this will be a dump off for Kelly. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be second down. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff. But still, a lot of guys to account for. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, here's Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. When everything is in sync on defense, that means everyone's communicating really well, and sometimes it's nonverbal. They just know that when a receiver's in one spot, this person may have him, and he's in another spot, the next defender may have him. And they've squeezed the passing lanes down to where it's so difficult to find an open area to deliver the football, they've made it tough on them all game long. The Redskins on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Newton. He finds Coleman. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 18 yards there and a first down. Throwing again is Newton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Richardson. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. First down, it's Newton. A dump off for Dixon. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Newton throwing again. And that is incomplete here. Boy, the numbers throwing the football just not trending in the right direction. Last week he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement, 
but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and is just trying to play through. You know, he's one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. Throwing on third down, Newton. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half. But the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game. But a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going. And you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know where to go here. He lost the football. But I think a Bengal player was able to get in there. He was. And they'll keep possession of the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Here's a give to Mixon. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. A sizable gain there of nine yards, but it's still third and long. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And the Bengals on third down, just one for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Here's McCarron to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now following the interception, here's Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now a handoff for Dixon. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Newton. This will be caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal.
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. First and goal, Dixon. Flag down. Let's check on. A terrible spot for a holding call as they'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Newton to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They make a good bit of that yardage back as they're set up in much better shape now for second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Trying to pound it in with Dixon. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Now Newton on third and goal. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Still now. just the third quarter, but they've got to make right, something right, happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. <laughs> They'll run. It's Dixon. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. Kenneth Dixon, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Redskins have made this a one-score game. Cam Newton now getting his guys ready to go for the two-point try. Out of the gun, Newton. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Here's Dante Pettis on the return. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And out now, here come the Bengals. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Set! Green, 30. McCarron to throw on second down. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And the Bengals on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! A.J. McCarron looking to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost 
the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. This is taken around the 12. Back now in Cincinnati. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Here's Newton. Flushed out right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. They got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. one across the 45 before he's brought down. A pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. We well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Come on now. Newton now has hit on 7 of 17 passes, just 41%, but it's first and 10. <laughs> on the run, it's Kelly. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. To throw on second down is Newton. On the crossing route, complete. That's Richardson. Touchdown, Washington! Paul Richardson with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Redskins have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Hopkins with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down.
On second down, here's McCarron. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. Four down, four down, check, four down, four down. Now here's McCarron on third. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Returnable here from the 38. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Redskins will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. The Redskins offense now, they head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. First down, they go with Dixon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Second down, here's Newton. Drops it underneath to Dixon. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that's going to lead to a third down. The throw is Newton. Oh, no, he lost the football. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. So another long try for three and another kick that comes up lacking. Yeah, this isn't going to do any wonders for his field goal percentage. But you have to figure as a head coach that when you send a guy out there to try and kick from that distance, it's a 50-50 proposition at best. McCarron and the Bengals come up first and 10 at their own 42. Four down, four down. Now McCarron. Over the middle complete. That's Murphy. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Give him seven on the play, and it'll make it second down. come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. 
I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. McCarron out of throw. He drops it off for Bernard. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Detroit! Detroit! Now Joe Mixon, and he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. He'll look to throw. And an alley to run. And avoids the contact by sliding. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll look to throw. And Thomas has it. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Now, the Bengals on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and eight. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. He's got his man here. It's green. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. He's back to throw. Throw right side going to be taken in by Henderson. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Hey, 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 hey. 
They come out here in the eye. They'll look to run with Ingram. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. One man in the backfield, that's Ingram on second and goal. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Gold now out to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'd be interesting. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for Cincinnati, a final win here means they'll finish off the regular season at a solid 13-3. And, and now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for Washington, this loss will mean they finish the season right at 500 at 8-8. Eight and, eight. and they'll get their shot at playoff football as they'll be on the road next week as a wild card.